All right, it's about 5 a.m. I'm about to do a arm workout. I've already done some wrist rollers to kind of warm everything up. And I'm gonna go through what's called a pyramid, which is uh, sets of 12. I mean, one set of 12, 10, a couple sets of eight. I'm gonna do three exercises. I'm gonna start with the pull-ups. Let's do it. All right, what you saw was I did maximum on the pull-ups. I love the pull-ups. The pull-ups are like the king of bicep exercises. So that was 30 reps. I'll take 90 seconds, hit it again. Maximum reps on every set of pull-ups. When I'm gonna do 12, I'm gonna go up to 10 reps here. You notice with that set of pull-ups, there's a lot less. When you do max reps, it really burns you out, especially if you're only giving yourself a 90 seconds or so between sets. You don't have a lot of recovery time. But that was like 17, something like that. All right, set number three. Yeah. 
you'll notice that uh, when I'm doing these, you gotta protect your joints, at least for me. So I don't do a lot of swinging. So I try to, from here, start pressing from here. It's hard to start pressing from the bottom because you wanna kinda get a little bit of momentum to start it. But I think this will mess up my elbow. So I'm, at this stage, always trying to protect my joints. Yeah. My, I think he's got down for 13 or so. All right, number four. Okay, my last set of pull-ups. You notice all my pull-ups, I kind of go to about here. I don't extend all the way down. And I know a lot of guys, when I'm doing my, my exercises, you give me a thumbs down because I'm not extending all the way. Well, my excuse is that it allows me to keep tension on the bicep if I don't straighten them all the way. But you're gonna see the reason right now why I cut them short. So I'm gonna do a full set with me extending all the way. round of exercises you see on that pull-ups it cost me reps so when the ego is involved you want to get as many reps as possible so I think I only did about 10 there 10 strict ones at least as low as I could go uh, so that's why you don't do them that way I don't do them that way all right let's go to the next exercise those incline dumbbell curls with dips. I'm kind of reintroducing myself to the dips. Again, when you've had injuries and it's put you out for a while, you're real careful about how you get back. So I'm kind of phasing myself back in. I want to use the weight on those dips. I do, I do. But that's okay for now. Go to number two.
on those dumbbells. When I'm doing the dumbbell inclines, I let my arm hang and I'm trying to pull straight up towards my armpit. So you don't see me curling it forward. The idea is let the arm just hang and curl straight up. That's kind of isolating the biceps more. Yeah, didn't know that. I notice that I don't lock out on all of my exercises. I think it's a bodybuilding thing. Bodybuilders don't tend to lock out on bench press or, you know, I think powerlifters do. And people that are graded for the lift, you know, where they're doing one rep, one rep max, or they're competing against other people, there has to be a standard. You know, you have to lock out. But with bodybuilding, you know, you try to keep tension on the muscle. You know, that's our excuse. So. That's why you don't see me locking out. I have to be thinking about locking out because you're here. That's it guys, we're gonna set up for our last exercise, last series of exercises.
Oh yeah. All right. Whatever you do today, make it awesome. See ya. Bye.